Hey folks, welcome back to the Codswall Collectibles YouTube channel. I'm Greg Brown, president and owner of Codswall Collectibles. Uh, in this week's episode, we're going to talk about repairing figures, and particularly the 1964 style uh, vintage body um, that Hasbro created and we have uh, duplicated in our fine Elite Brigade line. What we're going to do is we're going to take one of our Elite bodies that's one of our older ones that's very, very loose. We're going to test on that one. And then we're going to use some very simple tools in doing the repair. One item that we use, and then we custom built this, but you can basically make this out of a, a coat hanger. You basically take the coat hanger and crimp it, tape, tape it so it's secure, and then you will bend it to your specification that you want um, for your own use. I particularly like it to be like this. Some other people like it another way. The other thing that we use, the other tool that we use are going to be um, we're going to be using these bad boys right here for doing some cutting. I always keep a couple of them just in case I need them. And then I also keep some screwdrivers. Um, this is for actually for an Allen wrench, but it doesn't really matter as long as it's about this thick uh, for the bolt. And then finally, we'll be using our Elite Brigade Elastic Repair Kit. So without further ado, let's dig in and start repairing this body. One item that I forgot to list as a tool was a pair of needle nose pliers, so I went ahead and grabbed it while I was uh, getting ready for this. So first things first is we're going to take the body and we're going to go ahead and take the elastic and cut it out. So since this is pretty loosey-goosey, we should be able to cut them with the snips here. There we go. So that takes care of the legs and the trunk and part of the torso and the neck post. And then you'll get that. So set that aside. Now what you have to take care of is the arms. Same thing for that. Since it's pretty loosey-goosey, you're going to just pull it. Just take your snips. We're going to cut right there. There we go. Got it. Get rid of that elastic. All right. So now you've got So now what you want to do is you want to take all the elastic and just, just get rid of it. You don't need the elastic, but you do need the metal parts. So now what you need to work on is you need to get rid of the elastic for the legs. Now this one is a little bit trickier because what you don't want to do is you don't want to cut the thigh pin in there. You can if you have the tools for the thigh pin, but we're going to go with the assumption you don't have the tools. So what you do is you take your cutters and you're going to get down in there cut on the metal elastic hook here which is not really a hook it's a it's a it's a I, I, eyelet is which i guess you would call a little eyelet right there so what we're going to do is we're going to get in there and we're going to cut into that eyelet all right so with some fancy editing uh, we were able to cut into the eyelet now what we're going to do is we're going to take the needle nose pliers and we're going to bend the eyelet out so we can get it off of the thigh pin. There we go. So basically that's not the prettiest way to clean it off, but this will kind of show you what we're dealing with is this is basically a, a simple eyelet. And what we did is we, good golly, I'll tell you one thing, we make good stuff. Um, Basically, we made a cut right in there with the tool, with the, uh, the cutters. So we cut right in there, and then what we did is we took this and we bent it out of the way so that we did not interfere with the thigh pin. So the thigh pin is still intact. So we got one leg down. Let's go ahead and work on the second leg. All right, so we got that one done. I butchered it probably more on that than I did, but uh, the good thing is that the thigh pin is still complete. So let's take this and this. Let's go ahead and throw that away. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to get our Elite Brigade Elastic Repair Kit. Uh, if you're looking for this online, it's G-I-E-X-E-L-A-S-T-I-C. Um, what you'll notice is that this is virtually identical to the kit that we just uh, took apart. That is because we use these same kits for our own bodies. On a vintage kit, it's probably gonna be, excuse me, on a vintage set, it's probably gonna be a little bit um, easier to make the cuts into the metal because it's thinner. 
Um, the metal that we have is, man, it's, it's super durable. So, I mean, once you put these on there, this, this will last a pretty good amount of time. But the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to reverse the process for the legs, for the feet. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a cut right there, basically taking this eye part and making it into, I would say, a J. There we go. So you see where we made the cut right there. Okay, now we're gonna reverse it to this side. Oh, wow, that went a lot quicker than it did to take them out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this part right here and we're gonna just bend it out just a wee bit, okay? Okay, and you just wanna bend it enough so we can go over the thigh pin, okay? And you're gonna do the same thing here. So you're gonna bend it out just big enough where you can get around that thigh pin. So you can kind of see where it is right there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this onto the thigh pin to where it's being held right there. Now we're gonna reverse the process and we're gonna take the needle nose pliers and we're going to bend it back. Now, the great thing is, is technically you could do this right here and not have to really bend it back because once this bad boy is on here, um, the tension should keep it on there. But I'm a glutton for punishment and I like to keep this as close to possible. All right, so I have bent that back a little bit. There we, there we go. Boom. So that is on there tight. So then what we do is we're going to put hip ball in here. Then we're gonna make sure, okay, that's the right foot. So then we're gonna fit it through here. Okay. Then we're gonna take it and feed it back through here. All right. And the one thing we're going to do while we're at it is we're going to take this piece right here. This is actually the, the hook that connects it to the neck post. And oops, I jumped the gun. You'll take this and you'll feed it through there. That's a lot easier than what I was about to show you how to do. So now you have that little hook right there. So you fit it through here. All right, and that hook stays there. It's going to hold it right there. So now you have that foot. Make sure you got the correct foot. We're going to take the other foot right here and we're going to hook it over like that one. Quick edit way, my, my editor, my film director advised me, hey, you didn't put the hip ball in there. So it might help to put that in there. So let's put that hip ball back in there. Good golly, Miss Molly. There we go. Hip ball. Now we're going to take that hook that we created. We're going to hook it back in there. All right, folks, we got that far with this. Uh, one of the things you're going to learn is um, this is an imperfect process. Um, it's not always going to go as as expected. It's some, there's going to be a lot of trial and error with doing this. Uh, I've been doing this for 20 something years. I myself experienced some trial and error with doing this myself. But the thing is, is don't give up. This is a very easy process. It's a little bit tedious, but it is pretty easy. So that being said, let's take this bad boy right here. So now you have, you have the legs, hip balls, and you have your trunk or your, uh, I guess you would call it your trunk. Now what you need to do is you're going to need to feed it through here. But before we feed it through there, we need to do the arms for the torso. You always do the arms first and then you do the torso and the trunk. So let's make, take this and move it to the side. Take the neck post, move it to the side. So now we're gonna focus on this, this, and this. If you notice, these already have the hardware here, but you also notice that the kit has the hardware as well. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to remove the hardware from this before we can get to the kit. So this one is pretty simple. Right here in this slot right here, that this thing hooks in here. So just look at the engineering of this hook and see there, there's that little, that little catch right there, a little hook. 
So what it does is it'll fit in there. And so all you have to really do right here is jimmy that part out. There we go, got that one out. So let's do the next one. Set that one to the side. Time to do this one. Same thing, you just kind of kind of move it around so you can kind of pop it out. And you, you just feel it, it's you get a feel for it. And so that one came out. So you're gonna get rid of those. Now, one thing you're gonna notice, not so much on vintage ones, but you see how that it's, it's kind of has a wider gap here at the bottom than it does at the top. You need to take that in consideration when putting this in there. So you're gonna take this, whoop, right there. And you're gonna fit it in there and you should, same type of thing, you're gonna kind of kind of jimmy with it until you finally get it on there like that. All right, so now we've got this part. Now we need to hook it to this part. First things first is we're going to have to fit the elastic from here to here. That's when this tool right here comes into play and I apologize to get off a little bit. All right, so you're gonna stick this through here like that, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that this is this hook is still on there. And you're gonna hook that one in there like this. And see, if you're following me like that, then you're just gonna kinda let that slide, pull it through with your hand. And then what you do, see how it's like that? You're pulling it through. This is what I do. This is the reason why I have these little doodads right here. You're gonna pull this through, and I apologize. You gotta get pretty ambidextrous with this thing. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this, holding it in my teeth. Pull this through. Bammo. If you have somebody there to help you, that's even better, but I use my teeth. So now we've got that, that hook in there. So now, and this is keeping the screwdriver is keeping it from coming out. So now we just take this piece right here. Oops, hooks pretty good. Use my teeth again. That part's done. There are some people that can do this with one hand. I can't. Um, like I said, I just always use the old, using the tooth as a, as a second hand, or excuse me, a third hand. I guess we all come with two hands. There you are for that one. Pretty easy. Like I said, the reason I like to use this and curl it around my hand is you get a better grip with this and just pulling it. Um, and like, it's a very simple tool. All right, so got this bad boy done. Got this bad boy done. Now what are we gonna do? Now we're gonna repeat the process we just did with hands, but you do it for this part right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this you're gonna put it all the way down into the torso, just like that, okay? Let's get these hands out of the way. You're gonna take that hook, just like that, all right? Make sure it's tight. And you're gonna pull this part up, okay? Now you can do it, you can kind of cheat a little bit here and let the hook right there. But again, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna bite into the back end of this thing. There you go. So I got the screw hole in that place. Then all you gotta do is you take your neck post, you feed it through, and it's gonna go through the neck pin. Boom, you got your figure done. Just straighten them out a little bit. And you got a figure that's ready to be outfitted and put a head sculpt on and it's ready to go. Wow, I broke a little bit of sweat on that one. Okay, so let's go to, let's just do a real quick rehash on what we did. First, we removed all of the elastic, the bad elastic from the set. Then what we did is we took the leg elastic, we cut it, turned it into like a J hook instead of an eyelet. Then we connected it to the first leg, ran it through the first um, hip ball, then through the waist. Then you put the, um, the head hook on, then you ran it through the waist again, through the next hip ball, and then you connected it to the thigh pin on the other leg, and then crimped it to back where it would be uh, back into a quasi eyelet. Then what we did is we took the torso and we took the arms, we used our special tool, went through 
the middle of the torso, got the hook on the one arm, pulled it through, used our screwdriver. If you, if you have enough talent, you can use one hand to do it. I have to use my mouth to put that screw in, screwdriver in there. Hold that eyelet, hold that um, piece in, put the other arm in, release the screwdriver, you're good. And then just basically repeat the process with the, uh, the head hook, run it through the, the bottom of the torso to the top of the torso, put the screwdriver in to lock it in, and then hook your, hook your neck post in. When everything is said and done, a lot more secure of a figure and it's ready to rock. As mentioned before, um, results will vary a little bit when you're dealing with a vintage piece. Um, the vintage is generally way older in the material. Um, the metal's not as thick, and so you probably have an easier time in, um, in cutting into the metal for the legs. Um, always make sure that you do not cut the thigh pin. Um, if you do, um, we do sell reproduction thigh pins. Um, but the one thing you're going to have to make sure of is that you have the tools to take that pin and then basically crimp it or whatever you want to call it on the other side. But as you see here, the end result is a, it's a really tight figure um, and good sense of accomplishment. Um, our repair kits are super cheap, and but like I said, there's some trial and error. You may not you may not succeed on the very first try, but don't give up. Um, but just follow the directions one by one and then you, you should have not have any problems um, in basically uh, restringing your 1964 style body. Um, later videos we're gonna have coming out, we're gonna be dealing with repairing um, talker bodies, uh, repairing the talker mechanisms, um, repairing muscle bodies, um, but I have to admit um, that is a, um, that is a skill set that is a little bit beyond my pay grade We'll be bringing in a good friend of ours, uh, Scott Wild. Um, Scott has been doing muscle body repairs and talk repairs for decades. Um, he was one of my first friends that I met on the internet, Big Red Toy Box, if any of y'all remember that. And uh, Scott just, he can literally do it in his sleep. So eventually we're gonna hook up with Scott uh, when we go to one of the shows and we're going to record how he does it. Um, if you're brave enough to do it, great. Um, he'll show you how to do it. If not, you can always contact Scott and we'll put a link down uh, below how to contact Scott if you want to get your muscle bodies repaired or get your talkers repaired and such like that. But um, that takes care of our video for this week and tune in next week for another exciting video from Cotswold. Um, we'll probably be talking about some new sets coming out. But until then, make sure that you like and subscribe and leave any comments below. Until then, have a great week.